Well, ahoy there, cruisers. We are just getting all of our stuff ready for today. We are in our first port. Welcome back to Princess Cruises Enchanted Princess. We're in Christian Sand. Yay! We're in Norway, which is really awesome. Just getting all of our batteries ready and all of that jazz. Uh, just a few things that we're going to need today are our passports, obviously some money so you can get some of the local currency, or we would just take our cards with us usually because we can spend money uh, in different countries without any extra charge on our cards, which is really good. And just to like jacket just in case it rains but we've got a really really exciting day ahead of us i'm really excited my mum is on the cruise as well which is fantastic her first ever cruise let's stop wasting any more time i'm hungry so let's head and get some breakfast day eh? yeah i think Shall she's we? hungry i think she's she's hungry yeah, i just she's called her for us she, she, i called her and she's she's waiting for us so Let's go feed the mothership, shall we? Let's go. Excited? Excited, because we're in our first port. Right, got the passports, David? Yeah, I've got the passports. Um, got a brolly, got a jumper. You never know with this Northern Europe weather, do you? Like no, we you said, don't. you can have four seasons in a day. Got the sunglasses, sun cream, just in case. You never know. Right, let's go, folks. I feel like my voice has went down like six octaves. It sounds a bit horsey this morning. We did have a little bit too much wine with dinner, which was fantastic. Just gotta say, how lovely is this? It's very bright and airy, isn't it? I do love these um, princess ships. They're so traditional, but at the same time, the newer ones are really bright and lovely. These screens give you some really good information about what you need to take on your cruise. So it says that we need government ID and it's got some information if we get stuck. And all aboard time is 4.30. Yay! Oh, she's just there, David. Ooh, nice okay. and close to the elevators. Hi, morning. morning. Did you get me passport? Yes. Yes, passport. we did. Yeah, I've yeah. Got, it. got everything for you. We've got everything for you. So we're just on my mum's balcony now. She has a normal balcony cabin, but it's an obstructed balcony cabin. So if you're wondering what one of these look like, it's like this. So you usually have something in the way. In this case, it's like a lifeboat, but she is terrified of heights. So you think that I'm bad with heights? She is much worse. So this is really nice. She wanted something in the way so she couldn't look down. So this is perfect. It's on deck eight and yeah, it's just like a regular cabin, but you get these cabins for a lot cheaper. So sometimes they are really worth it. I mean, you can see just about everything anyway so it makes no difference and you can get these for a few hundred dollars cheaper sometimes which is great anyway let's go get some breakfast are you all set yeah let's go guys all set would you fancy something big or small medium medium <laughs> yes <laughs> hi good morning good morning did you sleep well i did here on the enchanted princess going out in norway looking forward to Oh, she's going to take my job. Oh my God, you're on and I am going to go on a yacht today. Yeah, well, a boat. A boat. A boat. Yeah, expectations. I, I don't can think a say yacht. yacht. <laughs> you can. I can. What's Are you it? having a good time? I, I don't want to go home. You don't want to go home? No. Well, you've still got six days. I know. Right, let's go I'm for some breakfast. The time of my life. Good. Time right, let's go. The best holiday ever. Yeah. And can I tell you something? Lift, Mum. These Lift. two boys. <laughs> are treating me like a princess. Oh. They've paid for all my cruise. You want brand? All the special dining. <laughs> They're taking me on all these trips. And not only that, they brought me some Paris perfume. Treat yourself. So I do have to be like a princess. Yeah. She's sprightly, isn't she? God, I haven't even had any coffee yet. She's very happy. Don't know, obviously don't take after her, do I? Obviously, I need like five coffees before I'm that happy in the morning. Anyway, let's head to the International Cafe. So this cafe is open 24 hours a day and for breakfast, but we just need to pop to guest services first because there is a problem with our card. I'm in debt, apparently. He's in debt, so our card didn't work. So the, our um, card provider blocked our card. So yep. we just need to go uh, re-put it back on, so. They said yeah. I've got until 12 o'clock today, otherwise I'm getting kicked off the ship to pay my bills. Don't to pay silly. my debts. But yeah, you do all of that at guest services. So any problems with anything, you just head down here or give them a call on your phone. So we decided International Cafe this morning for breakfast. It's got like small light bites and things like that, but they do breakfast sandwiches and croissants and they can toast them and things and good coffee as well. The all important coffee, but it's just a little bit quicker than the buffet because the buffet can be quite hectic. And if and you just want to get off, don't we? Yeah, and if you just want something really light to grab and go, and it's also near the exit as well. Ooh, pastries look really good. Yeah, I'm gonna try a few things. I don't know how to go with this. My mum is just ordering her food now. She's in Wonderland. I don't think she's ever experienced anything like this before, so it's so lovely to see her so happy. She said that it's the best holiday she's ever been on, bless her. But yeah, coffee's ready. Let's go grab some food, and then we'll get off. I'm so excited. 
<laughs> that was the chair, it was not me. That's funny, we've sat down, we've got our coffees, which is great. Love this area, it's great for people watching. You can just sit here in the main piazza, and the piazza is stunning, as you've probably already seen on some of the princess ships. It really is beautiful, it's gorgeous. Anyway, most important time of any day to start with is breakfast time. I've got a McMuffin, a McMuffin it. Oh my God, can you tell I haven't had my coffee yet? Look at this, it's so cute. Obviously inspired, eh? But let's have a taste of it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Oh, very original, Ben, very original. I wonder where you got that from. I also got a cute little frittata. They called it a muffin, but it's a frittata. And it's got some broccoli in there and cheese. So super cute, so little, lovely little bites to eat. So if you're not that hungry, or you just want a lighter breakfast, this is definitely the place to go. That is full of all of the flavor. Salty, veggie, cheesy, eggy. What else do you want in your breakfast? Anyway, David, what did you get? First things first, I got coffee, all important coffee. It's delicious from here as well. And uh, it's included on the drinks package, which is super handy. We are very, very happy people right now, oh, aren't we? I, honestly, I think I drank about five coffees yesterday. So good. I got this avocado on toast. My favorite, you know it is. A la with, egg. With egg on top as well, yeah. Very pretty, isn't it? Very lovely. Let's give this a go. Mmm. The bread's really delicious, though. At the bottom, lovely bread. Not as much avocado as I like. I like it slapped on there, but really lovely and delish. And I also got a cute little breakfast muesli bar as well. You enjoying your breakfast? Mm. Is it I good? like me muffin. Muffin's good. And I like me other muffin. Where has this coffee been all my life? Did you get a bean? I thought it was funny. <laughs> Mmm, scrum deliciousness, deliciousness in a cup, love it. It's just, I find it so weird that coffee is like so powerful. Do you know what I mean? Whoever invented it, whoever like cracked open that bean and said, I'm gonna have this in the morning. Do you ever, do you ever wonder about things like this or is that just me? Yeah, like eggs. Whoever saw a chicken poop an egg and go, do you know what? I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna scramble that with a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt, a yeah. little bit of pepper. I'm gonna stick that on some toast and have a nice little meal from it. Like all of these people who invented things, Cheers to you, like all of the people who originally ate everything. To be fair, like back then, couldn't have stuff have been poisonous, like you had like poisonous berries and things. I know I sound really thick right now, but does anybody ever think about these things? Like who, whoever like invented chocolate? Who thought of like mushing some cocoa beans and cleaning them, then melting them, then doing all of this jazz? Like, it's just amazing. I'm, it's magical. Food is like... Pioneering. Pioneering, the pioneering people of chocolate. Cheers to you if you're out there still. Probably dead, because it was probably like 400 years ago, but hey. If you're out there still. Thank you for your, thank you for your service <laughs> to chocolate ears. If they're out there still, they'd be like hundreds, like centuries old, probably. I got the stripy croissant. I saw it, it was like a zebra, and I was like, I need, to, I need to have that in my mouth, I really do. Fun fact, did you know that stressed, spelt backwards, is dessert. So if you're stressed, you just need some dessert in your life. Look at this beauty, isn't she gorgeous? She's the perfect like vehicle as well for your mouth because you can hold it and like put it right in. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, I like food that's been designed as a vehicle as well. So you don't need knives and forks or anything like that. You just basically insert and eat. So like a snake? If I didn't have this in my hand right now, I'd clap, but it's far too important to hold. Mm -hmm. Chocolatey deliciousness. So I do snaps for you. We could like clap. Well done, pastry chef. Oh, yeah, all of the pastries on board. Cooked fresh every single morning. How amazing is that? So it is really delicious. It tastes fresh as well. You can tell it. It's still slightly warm, which is like even nicer. So you've got that chocolatey, gooey, melty bit in the middle. Oh, I'm in a good mood now. I've had my coffee. Have you noticed my voice has went up like five octaves as well? We're going to finish up here and then we're taking you guys to Norway. Right, David, Off let's go. Crystalland in. Denmark or Norway? Which one are we in? We're in Norway. No, you were going to say somewhere else then. I was going to say we're in Denmark. <laughs> Denmark. We're actually in Norway. Norway. Yay! Yay! Welcome to Norway, everyone. <laughs> and it's sunny, just it's as the sun sunny. came out. It's big, isn't it? It's massive. Will you take a photograph of those lifeboats? Guys, my mum can't it. believe how yeah. big the ship is. It's so funny. She's like, gobsmacked. I don't think you get the scale of it up until you're so close to it like this, but it's humongous. 
Even now, we've done this how many times? You forget how big these cruise ships are, the scale of them are huge. I know, I, mean, I know my mum's really surprised, but honestly, we're just always in awe, aren't we, about how, how, do, you, how do these things bloom and float? I can, we said last night we were walking through a tin can, and it's true. It's massive. Look at the size of the, um, the name of the ship, Enchanted Princess, it's massive. Did you know it was a witch on the front? Yeah, sea witch. The sea witch, yeah. That's lots what the blue of, thing is on the front. Yeah, lots of people don't realise it's a face. Yes, always remember to bring your camera as well because there's some great photo opportunities, isn't there? Yeah, especially when you can get like in front of the ship like this, you get some great pictures of the ship. What a gorgeous day. We're just saying how the weather's came out. Beautiful. Probably be snowing and raining in 10 minutes. Yes, yeah, so when you get here, there's a few different options. You can walk into the town and it only takes about five minutes. Or there's a little train, which I think was $15, and it just sort of takes you around the city. Hot spots, but we're just going to have a little walk in because we're going to be doing our lovely little sailing journey later on. But it's getting super pretty now when you're coming out of the port. It's lovely. Oh, this place is so, so cute, guys. It feels very Norwegian, which obviously it is because it's Norway, but it's gorgeous. It's very quiet. It is a Sunday, like we said here, so most things are closed, but it's such a lovely walk. Oh, it feels so good to get off the ship. This is what we love about cruising, right? You get on the ship in, like, Southampton, which is not the nicest port in the world, and then you open your curtains in the morning and you're, like, in a brand new country. It is... Awesome. So we're just going to carry on walking into the centre. It's such an easy, lovely walk. We keep hearing everybody walking past us being like, oh, isn't this pretty? It's lovely. It's great. I can see the ship. It feels like we've walked miles and it's only just there. Or is it that it's so big that you can see it from here? I think it's just so big it looks closer than it actually is and it isn't. So we just had a walk along the waterfront, which is really lovely. And then we're going to walk into the town and see what's uh, what's happening up there. Ben said he spotted a McDonald's. Are you hungry, Ben? No, I'm just saying you can't bloody escape them, can you? I know, they're everywhere. Are you going to compare the McMuffins? No. The ship's McMuffin compared to the original? No. Let's go. Come on. Is that like the fanciest McDonald's you have ever seen in your life? Gone are the Golden Arches. It's more like Aphrodite's palace. It's gorgeous. I feel like I'm in Las Vegas. I feel like I'm in Las Vegas as well. I was not expecting that. You, you, learn, you see something new on every trip, don't you? Really Holy is. moly, look at the size of that reindeer. It's massive. It's so gorgeous. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. It's lovely and warm today. He's just having a lovely little bath, isn't he? How lovely is that? Go on, David, I double dare you to run through the water. Go on, do it. Do it, do it, do it. He did it! Woohoo! Well done! Woo oh, how nice is this? This is beautiful. Just we are so, so lucky with the weather. We really are. We're very hashtag blessed, aren't we, David? Uh, we are. I feel very relaxed, calm. This is a lovely port. This is a lovely place in the world. If you haven't visited, like the fjords or Norway or Denmark or the Scandinavian countries, proper recommend it. It's such a lovely way of life. The people here are super, super friendly. My mum is absolutely loving it. She is cruise convert, honestly. honestly. she is. She's absolutely loving every moment. It's great to see. I'm so glad we're finally here. I'm just glad we can take you guys along with us as well. It's just so much fun. Loving life right now, are you? Absolutely. So we went somewhere super local for a quick drink. I'm so thirsty. It is really warm. We went to Starbucks. I know, guys, don't hate me. Going to a big multinational corporation here in Norway. Oh, and we've started something new as well because everybody always asks us, what do we collect when we go around the world? And we honestly don't really collect anything. So we started collecting <gasps> mugs. So we've got our Norway mug, which is really awesome. So all of the Starbucks around the world, I love Starbucks. I'm not gonna- We're, we're not, not gonna sponsored be... by the way. Sorry. It looks like a massive advert. Sorry, not sorry. Oh God, yeah, we're not sponsored, but hit us up if you want to. We love our coffee. Just kidding. But yeah, so we started collecting these lovely little mugs. So little memento of all of the places that we travel to. And it's, we love our tea and coffee at home. So it's perfect. Anyway, we're gonna drink this, head back to the ship, and then we're gonna have some lunch and go for our lovely sail. I'm so excited. Let's go. Oh, a lovely little refreshing tablet. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, how fancy, yeah, David. Yeah. Getting trekked like royalty, aren't we? Look at this, that little fancy tablet. Give you a nice wipe down, guys. Oh, that's delicious. That's so cold. So nice. Oh, lovely. Right, let's get back on and have some lunch, eh? Yeah, pizza time. Come on. Welcome to Gigi's Pizzeria. I know Gigi's, it used to be called Alfredo's, but yeah, it's called Gigi's on this one, but it's basically exactly the same. It's the onboard pizzeria, and it's complimentary as well, so there's no extra cost, and it's open during lunch and dinner time as well. It's really lovely. You don't have to make a reservation to come in here. You basically go to the front desk. So I went for something a little bit different. I got the tuna baguette. 
So they do do different op do do. They do do. Yeah, they do are different options in here as well, and I've not had this before. Oh, super crunchy, tasty baguette. Nice alternative to the pizzas. I really like this. It's really lovely, and it's not too big as well because I'm still stuffed from uh, dinner last night. Yum. Oh, mine's a right pizza work. We had a pizza work. I got the I got a pizza because they are so delicious, freshly made behind. I got the Hawaiian pizza, and I'm going in manually as well. Everybody else is using knives and forks. I'm just going to use the, the the hands that whoever created me gave me to eat with. Yeah. Anyway, who I'll, created I'll, who, who created you? Oh yeah, that one over there. <laughs> Throw me in that water and call me the heart of the ocean, or is it the jewel of the ocean? I can't remember. It's freaking delicious. Absolutely delicious. Really wonderful. Super tasty, super fresh. Annie Lennox once said, sweet dreams are made of cheese. And who am I to disagree? I'm here, old crew. I'm gonna finish up really quickly because we've got about 10 minutes until our two of meat. Yes, we're going on a Blum and Shore excursion. Because we've got to admit, some places it's best to do it because especially with my mum, she wants to see as much as she can. You give them a little ticket and it tells you exactly what time to meet. You have to be very prompt to meet and it'll tell you how to dress and things like that. And it's got your name on there, what tour we're doing. So we're doing the Archipelago, Archipelago Sailing Experience. So we're meeting at half one in the Santorini dining room. So you bring this along with you and then we'll be given a sticker with a group that we're all sent into and we'll head off the ship and um, do our short excursion. This one costs $99 per person. And it's a three hour little tour, so we're looking forward to it. So we're meeting at the Santorini dining room. It's like a maze, this ship. We're still getting lost. Well, we always get lost, honestly. Oh, all over here, Santorini. Guys, if you ask us for directions on a ship, don't, because we're useless. Cool, so we've all been popped in group seven. Do remember to come with your party, so you've given the same group, so you just put your little sticker on. That's it, let's go sit down and wait to go. Off we go again, guys. Second time today. Let's get off the ship and get on our excursion. Now here's our boat, I think. Gosh, it's seen better days, hasn't it? Then you promised me a yacht. I promised you a yacht. It's not exactly a yacht, is it, David? I mean, you know, expectations and reality are very different right now. I think they call it rustic in the industry. This ship, yeah, it looks yeah. a bit rustic, doesn't rustic, it? Rustic, authentic. It's very old-fashioned. But it looks very Norwegian trawler boat, like you said. You're on a boat, from one rustic. ship to a boat. A rustic, rustic. It's a really strange shape, isn't it, David? It's sort of going up really steep. I feel like I'm on an old pirate ship, like Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Oh, we're on our way now, guys. We've left uh, the port and uh, we're just getting a lovely voiceover of all of the stuff. So we're just going to enjoy, aren't we? They said it's going to be about 40 minutes into our first uh, sort of port and we're just going to hear a little bit about the town and Norway as a general. It's awesome. Yeah, it's a good thing about these good tours is you get a nice overview of the port you're in, especially if you don't have long in a port. It's nice to uh, hear the highlights, I guess, and just learn a little bit more, isn't it? Definitely. Land ahoy! <laughs> now this is beautiful, it's a really lovely uh, boat ride, scenic sailing, learning lots about the history and uh, about all the scenery around us in the area, it's really lovely, such a picturesque area. So this whole area is known as the Riviera of the North and I can see why, it's spectacular. Norway, if you didn't know, is a super rich country. And uh, a lot of people obviously have a lot of money, so they have holiday homes. Most people have a winter home and a summer home, as well as 50% of people in this region owning a boat. There are so many different boats around, it's awesome. It's crazy, the houses here are spectacular. They're all different colors, so red houses are usually sort of like cabins, and white and yellow houses are usually houses. And there's so many different types of buildings and loads of beautiful caves, and it's windy for the first 30 minutes until you get out to the little islandy area, then it's really calm now. We said we'd have four seasons in a day, didn't we? We'd have probably gonna snow at some point. Rain, snow, heat, hail. Oh my gosh, that house has even got a little slide into the water and a barrel that's been made out of a bedroom. Do you remember the slide from uh, on the Royal Caribbean private island, Ben? Yes, it was like that. I, would, I wonder if they have to pour water down that one or get stuck. But this, this water is nine degrees, so it's a yeah. lot colder than that Caribbean water. And it is absolutely packed full of jellyfish. Apparently they have a real big problem with jellyfish here, so there is so many jellyfish that you usually have to wear scuba diving gear so you don't get stung. Um, yeah, they've got loads of problems. They were saying they're trying to do something with the jellyfish, so 
try and make food out of them, and they've so, so far they've made pancakes, powdered pancakes, which sound... Vile. Sounds sound interesting. Good at all. Powdered jellyfish pancakes. No, no, no thank you. you. Yummy. That's it for our tour of the islands here at Christian Sands. Gonna head back on the ship now because we're gonna do a live show from our balcony or from our cabin. How exciting! Let's go. Let's go, come on. So what was nice about that tour was that we didn't have to take any buses, we just walked a really short distance to the boat and now we're just walking back. Now it is starting to spit with rain a little bit, but on the whole, been super lucky with the weather today. Just made a really quick change after our live stream there. It was really fun. I think that was the first time we ever live streamed from a ship like at sea, which is really cool. Already now for dinner, super excited because I'm getting really hungry now. I know it's only been a few hours since I ate, but you know what it's like on a cruise, guys. You just constantly eat. We're gonna go to the main dining room tonight. So looking forward to that. We haven't been there for dinner yet. So let's go, we'll go pick up my mum. She's just a few decks below on deck eight. Can probably see her from here. Let's head down and go get shall we? She's not in a cabin. We can't find We're supposed find to meet her. her there, so we're going to track her on the screen. So let me just do this. Let me just track. Cool. Oh, it's me. So press shipmates. So we're going to tr track my mother. Oh. She's in the cigar lounge. She's in the cigar lounge. One deck down, so let's go. Don't forget for me to log out. So touch to log out. Yes, log out downstairs let's go that is like pretty cool right how you can track somebody remember you can turn that off if you don't like it it is just optional but it's great for like when you're traveling with people and you want to um find out where they are quickly awesome so let's go find her shall we found her hiding in the cigarette lounge should we go having a margarita having a margarita, having a margarita. treat yourself she's living her life she's living her best life isn't oh, she david not? I've never had a margarita before. Well, you have now. Well, she's never had one, so what do you think? What do you think about I the margarita? Like, I like that one. Lovely. Is it good? We've caught up with Mother now, so she's here. And we're just outside of Crooners, just by their lovely piazza. There's live music downstairs. They're playing the piano and stuff, which is lovely. And we're just going to order ourselves some drinks on the app, and then we're going to go for some dinner. We've got about half an hour before dinner, so this is the perfect chance to try another cocktail. Let me just load it up, and I'll order one. Cocktails have came, and I've got some of that I didn't even realise you could get on Princess. I got myself a little bushwhacker. A bush, look at that. I know. Fancy. It looks very sweet, David. It looks like dessert, I know, but it looks delicious. Shall I give it a go? Do it. Ooh, delicious. It's really refreshing. It's really cold and icy and creamy. Tastes exactly like a bushwhacker. You know how much we like bushwhackers. The only thing is, I'm going to be on the floor because I've not ate. Well, I've not ate since lunchtime. But I think this is going to go straight to my head. Ooh, I went for something a little bit different. Honestly, when you've got the drinks package, you have to explore all of the different cocktails. Experiment. Find... Experimentation is key. I got I love mojitos, but I got a pineapple mojito. Let's give it a little shush around. I can see the sugar there. Lots of mint, which I like to see, and lots of limes. Let's have a taste. Oh, Winona Ryder shoplifting. That has got a kick to it. It's real. Oh, it's still. Oh, it's very tangy. It's not too sweet, not too sour. I'm loving it. It's delicious. You've got the pineapple flavour in there as well. Proper minty. Delicious. It feels like I'm getting drunk and brushing my teeth at the same time. Very Caribbean. Gorgeous. Oh, getting a bit of salad in there as well. It's good for you. It's one of your five a day, isn't it? Delicious. Cheers, guys. So we're in the main dining room now. There's three main dining rooms on board. They're all exactly the same. We've got to, uh, sort of free time dining, so we can basically choose whenever we want to dine between like 6 and 9 p.m. So we're here at half seven, ordered our wine. That's a big, that's a big glass of wine, loving it. We've put in our orders. My mum is so funny. You can tell she's never cruised before. A lovely waiter was giving us recommendations. And my mum's like, no, no, I don't like that. No, I don't, like mum, you just gotta listen and then like order whatever you want. It was so funny. Cheers, guys. Got a bouquet of grapes and a bouquet of France, even though this is from California. Lovely. So first course in the main dining room has came. I went for the sea scallop and shrimp cocktail. Look how posh this is. Packed full of flavour, delicious sauce, and really, really tasty. This is so pretty, I love it. I love the fact it comes in a little glass. It's very retro, isn't it? I feel like I've gone back to the 80s, and I love it. Ooh, and I went for an Asian dish. I went for the beef satay. I love the main dining room, it's just because there's so much on offer. You name it, you've got it. 
It's super tender, super delicious, really good. Lovely start to the meal. So I got the split pea soup. We always love soups on cruises. They're always a really good option. It's really nice. It's like a thick, creamy soup. Nice little kick of pepper. And also we've got some extra bread rolls as well. Delicious. I have to say I've got soup envy, Ben, because yours looks incredible. I am super excited. So I'm sure this onion will be full of layers. And for crying out loud, it looks delicious. And the French onion soup is one of the classic um, menu items, so you can order this every single night. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that cheese. Oh, she's dripping everywhere. Delicious. Dare I say, it, it's probably better than the one in Crown Grill. No, no. Never. I had two of them Crown Grill ones. It's freaking delicious. It is so hot, though. I'm going to have third-degree burns on my mouth if I don't slow down. I need, to, I need to pace myself, people. So for my main course, I got the pasta, and the pasta comes from Sabatini's, which is the Italian speciality restaurant on board. It's a little bit of a tip there for you. You're getting speciality pasta in the main dining room. How nice is that? Really, really nicely done. It's got a little bit of bite there, and that sauce is super, super cheesy and delicious. That is a really lovely main dish. So I went for something a little bit different. Do you know you just fancy something a little bit different from the usual. So I've got some lentil cakes, and they come with fried eggs on top, so runny eggs, which are really yummy, and it's vegetarian, and it comes with a side of sweet potato fries as well, so I'm gonna go in and taste it. It tastes like breakfast. Does anybody else sometimes make breakfast for dinner? It's gotta be one of our favorite meals, doesn't it, at it's, home, David? Honestly, it's basically a breakfast, add some chips, and it's a dinner. It's a really good vegetarian option. Love sweet potato fries as well. I'm gonna try one of those bad boys. They're delicious. It's really salty. Mm. Yummy. So I've gone wild. I got myself two desserts. I know, crazy. I got the key lime pie and I got a cheese plate as well with a little cheeky um, glass of port on the side. Very posh. We've had many a key lime pie, haven't we, on our cruises? We have. So let's see how this stacks up. She's not as tart. She's more creamy, I think, than the other key lime pies, but very delicious. The raspberry sauce is really nice. That's a little tart bit as well. I've only gone and trapped myself to a warm chocolate chip cookie with some vanilla gelato on top. Oh, holy moly. That is like finger snapping good. So it tastes a little bit like Nutella with cookie and ice cream. It's just everything that a good dessert should be. It should be very proud of itself. And the chef who cooked this and carefully cracked, crafted it should give him or herself a big pat on the back because it's blooming wonderful. Oh. That key lime pie was absolutely gorgeous. I am so full, and I was greedy. I had to finish it. Beautiful. Did you enjoy your meal, then? I love this meal, yeah. Very, very nice. Oh, so we've just enjoyed dinner. That was really delicious. Princess has a really good main dining room product, really delicious food, and we've never been disappointed. So we've just came outside for some fresh air. It's quite late, actually. What time is it? It's like 10 p.m., well, 5 to 10. No, it's not. So it's almost 10 p.m., and it's oh still God. this light. It's legitimately nearly 10 p.m. And it's daylight, it? full daylight, basically. It feels like a morning sun. So yeah, it's really weird, been so far north that it's so light. It's crazy. But do you remember when we did the midnight sun and that literally didn't, the sun didn't set it once. It just did not set, it was yeah. crazy. But no, we do like a post-dinner stroll around the open decks, don't we? Honestly, it's moments like this where you think, this is why I love cruising. We stood right at the back of the ship. There's a little promenade deck. It's not too big, it's just like about half of the ship. But you get a beautiful view of the wake, and just look at that sunset. Isn't it just absolutely spectacular? Let's go see this show, shall we? I'm really looking forward to this. We haven't seen this one before, so let's go see what we think about it, eh? So we're just walking towards the theatre now, which is at the front of the ship. There's so much going on. There's uh, game shows like Majority Rules at the moment, and then there's live music all around the ship. There was violins playing in the Crown Lounge, and then just downstairs in the atrium, there's also a piano player. So there's lots going on. But anyway, let's head to this um, show. Super excited. Oh, so we're back in the cabin now. That show was really spectacular. It looked really beautiful. The storyline was a little bit weird and a little bit hard to, to, to follow. But apart from that, the performers are fantastic. And wow, the technology was really superb. Very different to anything we've seen before on a cruise ship. Look at this behind us. It is now midnight. 
we'll just come back up to the room after having one final drink and it's still light just look behind me how crazy is that it is still light this is one of the great things about cruising in very northern europe it's fantastic isn't it a little bit chilly outside now actually thank you so much for watching this episode we really do appreciate it we've got much more to come please do hit that subscribe button and the like button it really helps us out and a big thank you as well to our patrons your support is really we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you'd like to become a patron, click the link in the description section below. In return, you get ad-free videos, plus early access to our videos, and a patron Zoom call every month. Oh, it's time for bed now. What an exciting day. It's been a long day, hasn't it? It has. It's been such a fun, wonderful day. We've had an amazing time. We really have. And David's a little bit burned as well, surprisingly, I'm coming all this bit, north. I'm a little bit toasty on my head. I might just use this bottle of water <laughs> to cool me down because it's it's quite warm up there. <laughs> right, that's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising.